Hey, welcome to the Absolutely Improvised Monologue. You know the drill, it's down here. Uh, today's, I'm a little nervous about today's because the person who um, gave me the prompt is one of the smartest and funniest people I know. Uh, just a very, very funny, very, very thoughtful person. And uh, so I hope I can do her uh, monologue justice. So Gail decides she wants a pet. Now I'm not really a pet guy, right? Maybe a big dog, maybe a small pony, but I'm not really a guy who wants to go around picking up shit out of the yard and, and buy big bags of food that this dog can eat, a dog that doesn't contribute to the family, right? I'm not thinking about a pet. But if you've been around for more than a minute, you know how I am about Gail. Whatever Gail wants, Gail gets. I will bring Fort Knox to Gail's front door if she asks. Right? Because whenever I'm sick, who's there? Gail. Whenever I'm in a good mood, who's there? Gail. Who makes my hungry man dinners with a little extra honey on the chicken? Gail. So she wants a pet. So we go down to the shelter. Now, shelters are very nice. A lot of vegans in, you know, corduroys petting dogs and, 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 and playing with cats. And she sees a little yippy little dog. Oh, like a like a like a like a little furry centipede running around yipping and yapping. And I'm thinking if I can stand in front of it, she won't see it, because I know this little pitiful bastard has got Gail's name all over it. Sure enough, she sits down, it jumps up in her lap, and now I know I'm gonna be the owner of this ugly furry centipede that yips and yaps. Dogs aren't supposed to yip and yap, they're supposed to bark anyway. We get this thing home, and I don't know what the hell to do with it. Gail's gotta get to work, I'm like, son of a... So, uh, I got things to do around the house. I can't sit there and babysit the centipede, so I put it in the bathroom, close the door, go about my business. All of a sudden, I hear this ungodly sound and I run into the bathroom and there's toilet paper all over the place. It's just, just, just shredded, ripped up toilet paper with dog spit all over the bathroom. I'm like, do you realize right now in this, in this moment in our life, the value of a roll of toilet paper and you shredded it? Really? Of course the dog can't answer because the dogs, you know, they, they don't talk. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I figure I'll just clean it up because I got nothing better to do. And I'll put a fresh roll of toilet paper. So I clean it up, put the dog out in the back. That's when I realized we don't have any toilet paper left. None, zip, zero. And of course, when you realize there's no toilet paper, that's the time you have to go to the bathroom. I thought about using the dog.